morning Gemma here from little zoo to you I thought I'd do something a little bit different this morning um, I'm going to introduce you to one of my animals but in a different kind of way now I think it's important to remember no matter where our passion lies it's always remember to ground yourself and remember our whys why is something our passion doesn't matter what we're doing um it's kind of grounding yourself is i don't mean grounding yourself kind of to your bedroom like you might have got done when you were a teenager or grounding your children to their bedroom but what i mean is just just bringing yourself back to the moment just just the here and now now an animal that is very very good at this and who reminds us every day uh, that you know maybe we should take a step back we can have our crazy crazy moments but then it's important to pull ourselves back and just get back that momentum of being here in the here and now so show you give me a second so to show you our animal this is Prince Charming and Prince Charming is a frog he's a tree frog might remind you of crazy frog now we all know what it's like especially at the moment we have crazy moments but why not let the children go crazy for a couple of moments literally crazy as a box of frogs and then sit them down and go through this video now a frog is a remarkable creature he does some pretty amazing things obviously he's got those long back legs for jumping and he can go pretty wild he really can I mean if he lives in a tree he's gonna leave those long legs so it's really important we remember having your mad five minutes is perfectly fine it's what nature intended but being a frog can also do some pretty amazing things now if you look closely can you see him breathing he's actually doing that so with that in mind just pop him there with that in mind I thought we'd do a bit of a mindful session now So, what I want us to do is, I want you to sit like a frog. Fold your legs for me. Sit, get comfy, get comfy, okay? I've got quite wrapped up, it is quite warm in here, but I've got wrapped up, so I want to feel nice and comfy. So, thinking of the frog. A frog is capable of enormous leaps. Now, my frog can jump five times the length of his body which is quite amazing for his for his size but his legs are double the size of his body so he can do some pretty amazing jump but also he can sit very very still now although it is aware of everything that's happening around him because he needs to protect himself still aware of what's going on it can still not react to his surroundings so as an example he can he can <clears throat> excuse me he can be sitting he can be listening to what's going on but literally letting letting it go not even not even holding on to it letting it go letting it pass now the frog sits still and breathes <sighs> not listening not taking in anything what's going on around him so what i want you to do is I just want you to sit there for a couple of moments 
count to four. One, two, three, four. Now what I want you to do is count to four, but breathing in. So have a think about your breath. It's going in through your nose, feel it, feel it round your nostrils, feel the sensation of that breath going in through your nose and at the same time, far in, far out. <clears throat> now your out breath tends to go quicker coming out, okay? Just to let you know if you can't come out on f f four, four, that's perfectly fine. So sitting like a frog in four. Fantastic. So although we're aware of what's going on around us, we're just taking a moment in through your nose, out through your mouth. But what's really important when we're doing this exercise is remembering we're still being the frog, we're still sitting like the frog, <clears throat> we're still listening to what's going on around us. So just for a second, let's listen, listen to what I can hear. <clears throat> can hear a tractor going past. I can definitely hear birds. I can hear somebody in the far distance actually with a lawnmower. So just for a couple of seconds, taking that kind of what we would normally, literally, we would be used to, we would be conditioned to, to hearing those certain noises, but actually taking that moment just to listen for a quick second and, and really kind of taking in those noises. Now, it could almost be a bit like, I know my kids do this, mom, 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 sound like seagulls. Um, and you almost condition yourself, you know, they say it a couple of times, like, what? You know? It's, it's, I, I don't know, why do we do it? I don't know, I can't explain that one. But, because they've asked us two or three times, it's like, what? But because we haven't answered first time, they say it. But we just, you know, we're just very conditioned to certain behaviours, what we used to. It's, yeah. So just by taking these couple of moments, taking the example of the frog, who, who is having a mad five minutes, we can, we can actually just ground ourselves. So... If, if you've been scrolling through social media and you've seen something and, and you've decided to read it and gone through the comments, you could be feeling totally overwhelmed. Lots and lots of different emotions there. Now, in that scenario, what I would suggest you do is literally take a step back, put your phone down, go into the kitchen, into the bathroom, anywhere where you can just literally tell yourself, be like a frog. You don't have to sit down like a frog, but literally give yourself four minutes if you can and do your four in four out four in four out and i promise you if you do that four i just think frog four frog four or four frog do that four times i promise you if you do this every day just in those, even in those moments where you are very, you know, your mind's very busy, you, you know, you don't really know, you feel overwhelmed, um, do those. And I promise you, if you did that every day, literally, not even four minutes, but just till you feel a little bit more grounded in the here and now, remember taking note of what's going on around you, living in the moment, if you do that for a full week, I promise you this will be such a benefit. So the frog very very still it can breathe now what a frog can do is the way he breathes he can breathe through his skin so you will notice if you ever seen a frog he does this and he's breathing he's soaking in oxygen around him okay but all this time he's had his five minutes he's been jumping around going mad he's still breathing but he's still aware of what's going on around him so it's really important to remember in those mad crazy times we can do, we can be the frog. We can be the frog, we can just take us back to 
to literally calming our our overwhelmness um, in our minds we can do the four so we're taking four breaths in four breaths four seconds in so when you do your breath in do it in for four seconds four out real deep breaths fill those lungs think about every time you're taking that breath in think about the breath going in filling those lungs really really filling that tummy big big round tummy and then deflating a bit like a balloon so you want four out so doing it with the children you can explain about doing the frog let them have a crazy 10 minutes then it's frog time sitting down doing the breath in the nose out do it four times four times honestly it will calm them down so lovely and remember anything a frog can do you can do too all you need is mindful attention attention to the breath attention and peace and quiet not always the quiet but even with noise around you take it in but be aware of what's going on around you not everything needs a reaction okay so thank you very very much for watching and we will hopefully see you in our next video thank you TTFN